Thanks. You want to make some gains? Out of the way. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> he just got his and watch Hodge twins. <laughs> oh, who are they? Right. If your waist begins with a two, eat. Dude, I'm sorry, I'm late. Yo, look at those spandex. <laughs> Kill it, bro. All right, Rising Legends number three. This series is going, it's flowing. People are starting to look out to it. Uh, we're gonna go crush chest. Like, no, what are we hitting? We'll do chest and then maybe some shoulders. Chest and you shoulders? Think? Yeah. Jeez, I'm about it. Yeah. All right, we live in the land of snow. It's uh, now February 5th. Take a look around. Canada, baby. There is absolutely no snow to be seen. I don't know why we get a bad rap. <laughs> Take this in, the amount of times I've shoveled this year, and it's February, is zero. I always shovel a million times per winter. We want to do a cardio challenge, and we want to snowboard, but we can't really, <laughs> which kind of sucks. There's so many things we can't do because that. But oh, we're gonna do a wilderness trip soon on Monday, and we're gonna, we're gonna film some of our rugged landscapes and see what we can do with just a day of trekking through the woods. With beef jerky and monsters. It's gonna be a sick time. We're gonna see if we can do like mini challenges, like building forts and crap. Oh so my God. it's gonna be unreal. I'm excited. Bro, are you sponsored by Alpha? I'm wearing my Alpha sweater. It's so nice, man. The American, uh, it suck pain for, but. So nice. You can't see you can't see half of me. Yeah, the autofocus on this is ridiculous. Yeah. Look at these bad boys. Yo, so you guys in America, once again, you probably have more snow than us, and we probably have more burrito than you. Something's wrong. My hand's freaking huge. And there's the burrito. I'm gonna show y'all. Look at this. <laughs> What the? I'm six foot two, and this burrito is bigger than my head. Yeah? Yeah. This is a Mucho burrito from Mucho Burrito. This is like the biggest one. This is twelve dollars, but it's massive. Three scoops of meat. You can combine different meats. Free guac. Kyle wanted to carb up. He's switching over. He'll talk about that. And he's got to hit heavy numbers. Way bigger than America, I can happily say. I love this place. Some of them suck. It all depends where you go. Downtown is garbage. All right, kill one. it, bro. How is it, bro? This is a lot of food. I think we're gonna have to shut the camera off, muck these, and uh, go bench. Let's do it. All right, quick tip. Some of y'all are probably wondering why we're eating white bread with white rice. Uh, you'd probably say, why aren't we maximizing our complex carbs? Shouldn't be eating a lot of fiber all the time? And our answer is it's situational. It's a quick tip for you guys. I had a fiber one for breakfast, so I had about roughly 20 to 25 grams of fiber. My intake is around 50, and I'm already gonna hit that from the beans, everything else in there, the vegetables, as well as my dinner. So we opted out for this, because we're gonna be benching in about an hour, and we want to try to utilize these carbs as soon as possible. So we went the simpler route to try to actually have some benefit to our workout so we can absorb the sugars there and use them to an advantage as opposed to eating something very fibrous which is gonna bloat us that we're not gonna be able to use. So make your decisions based on your situation and remember you should be having about 80% complex carbs with 20% free carbs as in simple carbs. It can be white breads, it can be Skittles. That's your quick little tip, bang. Come on. Colossal, baby. Colossal. Serious Pete got nothing on me. Don't compete, dominate. Let's go. Let's go. Are you motivated? This is a lot of food. <laughs> That's motivation. Business. Thank you. Love you guys. Damn, that was good. That was delicious. What you have fueled. Brought out the camo boys. Wait, the hating only motivates. Oh, motivates. 
got here to the gym. A lot of people ask what gym we've been working out. Such a good gym, I'd recommend signing up if you're in the Pickering area. Just off Rock. Cell Fitness, the owner's a great guy. A lot of you have been messaging me about it, so uh, this is where we've been. Shout out to him, he has a great old school club. That small time feel and uh, we love it. Let's go crush some weights, fellas. All right, y'all, week two Candido. I made Cal redo the week. As you know, we're one week behind because I did have my stupid sickness. That was horrible. Don't even know what's up with that. All right, so one quick note, Kyle and myself, we both switched back to pausing. Uh, we did this because if we are going to be competing, we got to be more strict with our form in that sense. We can't just come in just to bench press for the sake of hypertrophy. If you guys know that video, we can link that too. We talk about that a lot. So we're changing our goals for the function of this exercise. So this volume, it's volume week. It's, it's hectic. <laughs> it's a real work. So as you guys can see, Kyle just started painting. It's huge for him. He's going to talk about that later. Uh, it's definitely a big benefit to his form. As you can see, he was a little bit shaky before, so he's come miles with that. And he just looks more fluent than ever. Everything's just looking right for him. And he is, I don't see why he wouldn't be at 315 in the next two cycles of our powerlifting programming. Uh, so yeah, he ended up killing this. I feel so good under the bar now. So before, one of my biggest mistakes with bench was not having enough stability on the bench. Even Josh has been saying lately, I feel, or I look a lot better, I look a lot more stable and I really utilize the arc in my back and um, get a proper pin. So hopefully that's going to help skyrocket the bench press to the powerlifting comp. This guy's bench is blowing up. Easy little change, you'll increase your bench by like 10% like that once you get used to it. You don't want to be doing like this crap. Too many people are doing that, so you really want to work on your pin. Watch how we pin, you pull through, you pull over, get that tuck, bang. So hopefully you guys are doing that. <laughs> That's a little next level. So yeah, this is the pin. So for myself, I like to drive through, make sure my feet are stable. And now an important tip is you want to drag the bar off, not lift the bar off. The second you lift is the second your rhomboids will no longer be contracted and you're gonna lose that pin entirely. So this 260 by eight was serious for me. Uh, this is, I don't know, I had a really tough week. Um, my macros aren't as high as they can be. I'm gonna try bumping them up a little bit to combat this. And squats have just been death. To hit 11 sets of 405 and 410 is disgusting and it's just wiping me. So I'm really thankful to be through this week. That hurt my hamstrings. <laughs> that hurt his hamstrings. Yeah, this guy. Sometimes Kyle says he feels like he's gonna die when he spot me. Poor guy. So now look, Kyle's ripping 200. Like, it, he really looks like he's just warming up, butt's not coming off the bench. Form is really tight. Elbows are tucked perfectly. He's exploding forward, starting with the triceps, shifting over to the shoulder and the chest. It's a huge motion to bench press that we all want to make sure we're working on. Counter resistance too, bro. I pushed down on the end. Uh, this is probably the worst angle ever. I don't know if you guys can notice that. I might look like I have little friggin' T-Rex arms, little baby arms. It's one thing. <laughs> Look like a little baby man. It's friggin' little chicken wing things. Anyways, so uh, this was really heavy. Yeah, as you can see, my fifth rep was not where it should be by any means. So I'm like, yo, fire me up for a cheat. Got him pulled through, big bounce. Wouldn't count that at all. I got five reps, but did what I could. So this was supposed to be 215 for 6 to 8, but Coach Josh said I was looking strong. Uh, so I'm moving it up for 6 to 8 with 225. I don't know when I got promoted to Kyle's coach, but uh, oh, I'll take yeah, it. <laughs> we called him the audible. Uh, we're pretty good at gauging each other when we should excel and when we should not. So you need to know when to up your weight and when to lower it based on the programming. So, so far I'm going to stick with my numbers that are given to me from Candido for bench. Next week if I fail, I will have to lower my PR. But I believe it was just an off week and this week for Kyle it's just been incredible. Six three, reps two, and one. massive I'm here. I was getting three <laughs> last cycle, so. Oh, is that six? Six, yeah. All right, so today we're gonna be up in that bench press. You wanna increase your bench press? We're gonna go over it. We're gonna go through our workout to increase it. Six days is a bonus day. Come in, we work on what's weak that week since we are focusing on the powerlifting right now. So number one is gonna be your pin press. You can do this 10 different ways. The way we do it is we focus on that explosion right at the top, right off the bottom. We're going all the way up. Dan Green showed us that every be taken seriously. We don't want to be cheating it even if it's only a plate. Kill it up. 
Don't care about our negative, we're just working off our chest with that explosiveness. Boom. It's important to set up exactly like you would on a regular bench press. Just because it's a variation doesn't mean you're supposed to be uh, doing it differently. So I'm going to still get a nice pin and kill it. <laughs> oh, look at my homies in the back. <laughs> you your boys are there? Yeah, they're up there. That's Ko Is that the La Sus. See? Ko La Sus. Rising legends. We use a mat, set up the pins here and show him positioning. Now his legs are going to be completely straight because he doesn't want to have any cheating or pinning. And the beauty of this is you're working on just your lockout strength with no assistance. So you're not going to go as deep, but we're just working on our lockout. So if you guys see here, you'll see that no matter what he does, he won't pass that gap. Explode, boom. He's not able to use any of his body. He's a dead man right now. This is on the upper portion of your bench, whereas pin press will work on the lower. Together, you're gonna help work on the whole thing. New kicks, baby. Got them ASIC fives. Beautiful for deadlifts. You feel the floor nice. So we can do too. Really nice shoes. Recommend them. You can pick them up for about a hundred bucks. All right, so we get this question pretty often. For those of you who may have strength and balances, uh, this is the one arm dumbbell press. It's an awesome exercise to fix those. We're gonna be doing one arm at a time and we're gonna help bring up those imbalances if you have them. It's gonna be hard, the weight's gonna be a lot lighter, but let's do this. We're shopping for the an first annual Colossus Fitness Hiking nature trip. walk. Yeah. What do you guys think? That's definitely fun. Show them back. Are we looking at it? Alright hey guys, so we kind of just started this series abruptly without giving you any background to what it meant to us and what it's going to be, what it is, etc. So basically, Rising Legends, we're going to be taking you guys through our everyday life, um, what we do to reach our goals. Right now, we're on a mission to compete in a powerlifting competition. So we're going to show you basically some foods we do, some some foods we eat, some exercises we do, um, and, and just a lot of we love. Live. Yeah, we our goal here is we're at a certain level right now. We've came a long way, obviously, but we want to try to build a legacy. We want to become something. So becoming a legend whether we're preparing for our next physique comp, a photo shoot, or if we want to power lift, mm -hmm. if we're preparing to be in a magazine to do a video series, we want to show you guys where we're at in our fitness journey and give you something to follow. And we're going to give you great tips, advice, and foresight of what's to come, what we've learned, what we've done wrong, what we've done right. There's just so much to do and we felt we've had a channel and we haven't told our own personal stories. Yeah, and this is something you guys can join in too, to becoming a legend, to becoming the best version of yourself no matter what your goal is. Um, it doesn't have to just be strength gains, it could just be becoming you know, more mentally strong and, and all that. So I uh, encourage you guys to join us in this challenge in this series and in this lifestyle if you want to just kind of if you're wondering how you can take it to the next level we want to kind of walk that uh that road for you so as i mentioned you guys have seen we've been doing like a lot of how to but kind of throwing in vlogs things have seen a little bit out of order but now every monday you're going to see the development of us and our goal to become legends to build that legacy and you guys are just the support means everything checking in adding the like like matters so much and yeah you and you guys will notice one huge thing is you know we're not perfect although a lot of people will show on videos you know a video an eight minute video is only this much of a person's day a person's life so this we're gonna much, try yeah. to uh, basically show you guys you know what we go through and and it may not be perfect we may not hit every lift um, but you know we're humans and uh, and that's just the way it works thanks so much for checking in uh, if you guys can drop a lights like Drop a like, that'd be horrible. Drop a like, support this series. Every like kind of shows us that you guys are loving it. The best thing you can ever do and the thing that means the world to us is if you share our videos on Facebook, Google+, whatever platform y'all got, it really helps us out because the more you guys help get us out, the more we can grow internally and we can build more of a community and build that Colossus Army. And help Buck people up out. Trump. 
Uh, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share. We got some big giveaways coming soon. Stay tuned. Let's become a legend. Peace. Ah!